back with another video it's your boy 828 and um today we're going to be doing a quick overview of this brand new 2016 rigid 10 inch tile saw model 4092 actually got this maybe like three four weeks ago and i just put it together and i thought i'd give you guys my my you know first impressions and thoughts and impressions of it um what i like and what i don't like and you know just the basic stuff and i guess just like uh let's start off with the bad things that i don't like um this is actually a 800 dollar model i mean which is not bad for a i guess this is a commercial i used to have the eight inch but i returned it to get this one but like i said let's start off with the things i don't like um the things i don't like um i guess it would be this uh, wsuv is what rigid's calling it. it's a wet saw utility vehicle um i got the msuv for my miter saw and this looks like about one inch one inch pipe that they use to make this and um, they're charging you say 150 extra dollars more from the eight eight inch model to the to the 10 inch but i don't know just it seems flimsy to me it seems uh not sturdy if you had the msuv or the miter saw stand then you'd understand the miter saw stand is is really well built compared to this i mean I don't know i mean it's a big thing to this little stand so that's one thing i don't like another thing i didn't understand is uh what are these for i guess their storage is what what they have these labeled as storage but i don't know what you're supposed to store maybe um i don't know i'll probably have to read the instruction book <laughs> but uh that's one thing i didn't like it's kind of it's kind of i don't know for such a big tile saw just i don't know but it's better than carrying the stand around and having to set it up all the time another thing i didn't like was these uh plastic inserts these are uh to like say if you're cutting an eight inch 18 inch tile um this is give you that extra room but i don't like it as you can see it's it's hold it on by like some dentures that come out of these so as you can see there you go and it just holds it into a little slot right here See if I can get back in. But you guys get the point. So this little piece will go back in there. And um, this is how the rest of it's put on. There you go. Now I went back in. That's how the rest of it's put on. And it's also holding on to this part, which is an extension. I didn't like that. I mean, I kind of wish it was all made out of aluminum. Or at least, you know, something like this. This is all aluminum and has a rubber over, over mold this is all plastic but it does hold up nice i actually had a uh, had this portable speaker that i have is like maybe 20 pounds and i laid it on top of here and it's actually pretty sturdy but you know this right here is hard plastic like i said this piece right here you can't take it off but it's hard plastic i didn't really like that as well but it is what it is i um, kind of wish it, they would have kept it with aluminum rubber over mold and the back piece as well it's uh it doesn't go in all the way but for the what it's gonna do it does its job i mean like i said it's an 800 hundred dollar tile saw and uh, another thing i mean it's not a big deal but i didn't like i didn't like uh the handle for some reason the handle feels sharp right here uh kind of feels real cheap like like if Say if you dropped it once accidentally, it would break. It actually flexes a lot. I kind of wish they would have put that hex grip that they put in the, into the drills and the impacts. It would have been nice if they would have put that on there. But other than that, I mean, it's not. There's not really much to complain about. Um, as you can see, see it fell out. <laughs> Let me try to put this back on. Oh, uh, and another thing I guess was uh has these little controls right here these lock into place so that way if you don't want this to extend all the way out it won't Let's see right now so yeah I don't know man just I don't know if I don't like the way this is built it kind of feels for 800 bucks kind of feel like I should have just bought the DeWalt but you know I haven't I haven't used it yet to cut anything so 
guess we'll see it. But I was the things now we'll get to the things we do like. Uh, like I said, the rib capacity you can put up to right here it says 18 inch. Uh, no, we got more than 18 inches right here clearance. So you got really big uh, fake wood tile that you know they came out with. It's larger ones. Um, it's a nice uh, miter gauge right here. It's all made out of aluminum. I actually really like that. Another thing I really like is the pan. They actually use the pan from the 8 inch model. And the reason I didn't buy this 10 inch before the 8 inch was because I didn't like the pan on the previous model, which was the 4091. The 4091 was a little thin panel and then it dropped into that little bucket. I didn't like that. I mean, I don't know why what they were thinking, but I don't like that. This one, let me pull this one all the way out so you guys could see. This one. So you can see now this whole thing fell out but anyways like you see it has a uh, little ridges that it will stop all the sediments and then it goes into here has more ridges and ridges in there and you got more over here and then you got a big filter that's where you behind that filter is where your pumps at so it's actually really nice I actually really liked it on my 8 inch model and then you got your big um, 10 inch blade. Let me open this up for you real quick. So it comes with a 10 inch professional tile blade. It's a 6100 max RPM. It's a 5.8 Arbor. It's a pretty much a rigid, I think it's one of their best, you know, tile saw blades they have and then right here is where your water comes out from and these are actually removable as well so actually you're supposed to clean these out every time you use it you get sediment in there but it's not a big deal then you got your laser right here you can actually adjust your laser which I probably won't use to be honest I, I used to you know I had the laser on the other ones but and the daylight's not that great so Kind of, kind of pointless to be honest. I kind of wish they had a, a true true exact line like they do on the DeWalt. So those actually really work even on the daylight. And then you got your um, depth stop adjust. And then you got your bevel cuts up to 40 degree. It comes with tools to install this. But, you know, I, I, I think it's a pretty heavy duty. The motor is actually, you know, I've started it up, you know, just dry. You know, just let it run. But... The motor seems like it's a really heavy duty motor, um, you know, to see, uh, one thing I want to see, you know, is how long these plastics will last. Hopefully they don't start, start warping and bending with weight or tile that, you know, it's set on there. So, I mean, that's, that's really my own concern, my only concern. And, um, you know, just like they said, the handle and hopefully the stand don't break on me, but. You know, I'll do some videos eventually because I have some, actually have a big couple, two jobs, really big jobs that I, we have coming up. And um, that's why I bought this. And I actually have to remodel my bathroom and um, <laughs> it'll be a while before I get to that. But, you know, I thought it'd be worth investing into, a, you know, a heavy duty. I don't know if it's commercial yet, to be honest with you, tile saw, but, you know, it's, you know, it's sometimes worth to pay the extra premium for, you know, the stand. Because I'll be honest with you, the 8-inch and the stand, the 8-inch alone is was really heavy just to carry around. And you had to ha set up the stand. And it's more convenient just to roll things around and get them where you want. So, there you guys have it. If you guys got any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section. Um, you know, like I said, I I'll let you guys know. I'll, I'll make a video. So, until next time, guys. Peace.